Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus third daily in a row. It's an Azazel daily and it's only going as far as what looks like the positive. So I'm guessing that's the Polaroid, therefore Blue Baby. Uh, which is a fairly long way, but Azazel we should be okay. And we should be fairly on track for our very, very third win. <laughs> how you say you say that word. Uh, but... To compete, as it is a daily, we do have to fight Hush. I'm gonna say now there is a strong chance that I don't. I'd rather win five dailies in a row than compete strongly for this daily. But of course, if we respawn as Dark Judas or we get full Brimstone or we have amazing damage on, you know, a snappy rate of fire or something like that, uh, yeah, then I will probably go for it. A Tears upgrade certainly helps that. I like having the information on the side of the screen these days. Kinda nice. The equality thing. Finally found out what it does. We should go to the iron. I think that's important. Um, if you have the same number of all consumables, you will get double of all consumables from that point on until you lose the, uh, the equality there. We do want to get this 15 cent item of sacks. So if we can work out some way of getting some extra coins, maybe... This would be a great time to get Pageant Boy, because the Sacks, it's not Sack Head, which is of course even better than Sack of Sacks, but more Sacks in general is great for daily, so there's one more item. And I'm even going to give up the opportunity to get more Spirit Hearts, so that we can get the Sack of Sacks instead. One more. Mm, die. Good. Uh, it is not, but it is... At least a tears upgrade. I wonder whether that gives us a range upgrade. It doesn't feel like it does. So how do we wrangle more coins out of this situation? Well, we blow up pots and fires. We don't blow up fires. We just shoot them. There's one. It's not going to hit that. It did hit that, but it was only spiders, which is a uh, vine song. some time ago. No more bombs. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to achieve this. And I'm not going to buy the Spirit Heart anyway. We could still get more value out of our 10 coins than that. Uh, I'm guessing there is no way of getting 15 coins out of this floor unless there is a secret room there with a lot of coins in it. So I'm not going to feel too salty about that because it means nobody is going to be doing that. Uh, and again, we are not going to be competitive if we are refusing to do the Hush Fight on principle of that's a terrible idea, um, unless, ooh, you know, we get a run that everyone's going to get, which is going to be basically amazing. So, we can't go in there, but we can go into the shop for free. We only, only need, well, we need one key fewer per floor, really. Uh, but that could come from here. Uh, it didn't, but really. Shot me straight away. Two luck upgrades in this shop. I think they're guaranteed to be luck upgrades. Uh, there is a key, so I will purchase, purchase it, and it will be a, a reduced cost as well. And Dark Bum basically is unpassable. And hopefully Dark Bum will give us m enough HP before the end of the floor that we can afford to deal with the devil. Or hopefully the deal with the devil is just affordable, like Abaddon. In fact, if Abaddon is in there, we might be able to take two deals with the devil. So it will give us six spirit hearts. We only need three. So uh, any amount of red heart right here would be grand. Nope, we'll explore for more. That is my plan. I'm basically trying to find any opportunity I can to make uh, Hush work as a Zazel. Because... Ah, oh, come on. That's what we like to see. And I might even play this and this to get at least one key. There is at least one key. Please pay out. Was with two luck, we got no key. Um, yeah, if you want to be able to do the hush fight, we can't do it in this guise of Azazel right now because it's just very unlikely to work for us. Will you stop giving me these flies? This is very unlucky considering we have a luck stab too. And watch it give me Skatol right now. Uh, okay. Keys, please. Not money, keys. There's one. Great. Do not like that uh, three score Monty. 
douche over there. All right, cool. We need to do this just for the points. I keep going on about points and then retracting my points uh, sort of stance. I keep changing my mind on it. I would like to do okay. I just don't want to do hush. But uh, I'd like our okay to be a little bit better than it could be, which is why I want to be able to do the deal with the devil. Unfortunately, we don't need one spirit heart. We need two out of that them. Well, that's a baseball item, so we might as well take it. Uh, curse room? Uh, the other one, secret. Secret room. Ah, that's what we like. So we could end up on half a heart um, after this deal with the devil. In fact, we will end up on half a heart with this deal with the devil. We take this deal with the devil, which we probably shall not. That's not a secret room. That's unbelievable to me. At least it's Monstro. Monstro can't get me over here. Well, he can shoot me, I think. Or we can just bug it out. That's also fine. I have no qualms with doing what it takes to get through this as easily as possible. Is that one more? Is that one more? It is not. What is in there? It is. More bombs. Bombs are fine. <sighs> well, the thing about contract from below, <coughs> excuse me, is that uh, it will double our red heart drops. Which is basically one free spirit heart for every single red heart drop that does drop. Unfortunately, it means we're about to die because I'm bad at this game and can't be trusted. We don't have a source of damage that doesn't involve getting too close to enemies to be pleased with it. Um, Dark Bomb is not an offensive familiar, so we have to be super careful not to be in explosion range or bullet range for quite a long time right now. Uh... No, I could full card out, which is why I'm tempted by that. But I don't think it's the right choice right now. Red hearts, please. HP up. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Plenty of bombs from this floor already, which means we don't have to worry about spending them on this. Red hearts, please. Not to be. That's okay. And of course we have a, a rechargeable bomb as well, so... It's not the end of the world, you just have to not get hit for quite a long time on <gasps> on the uh, flooded basement, which is flooded caves in fact, which is, you know, obviously my favourite floor of all. I never take damage here. I'm quite happy to kill these things whilst they're vulnerable. That's what we like to see. Come on, Dark Bum, that's two there. No, just one. But one is more than none and that is what we needed. So I'm happy with that. Uh, we could probably go into that shop. <laughs> Since it was the very first thing on... Oh, it wasn't a shot, was it? It was a double bomb room. So we should actually go back, because we have got a lot of bombs now. Uh, it could contain something good. It could contain three spirit hearts. Good point. Well made. Uh, we should have done that a long time ago. One. Two. And no baddies, please. No baddies. It's a dirty room. Uh, I mean, I guess we use a bomb to see. There's a chance it's got a crawl space underneath it. It didn't. That's okay. Our bombs are not a precious resource right now. Uh, we can get into the item room, of course, so we should do so without having to wait for a key to drop with those bombs I made. And we still have... Um, yeah, I think that's worth it. I still have Bob's Rotten Head if we need a emergency bomb. I have an itchy nose, and I chose to use my movement keys rather than my brimstone charge to sort that one out. Uh, this will be free. Yep. Nice, nice. I think I'm going to prefer the damage. Restock is just a way of spending money, and money is a way of spending points. Again, obviously, points are not uh, going to be really on our to-do list if we're not going to be fighting the Hush, because there's no way that we're going to be competitive. Don't fight the Hush. Uh, just do it. We have got enough money to buy the... Um, that missed. Tickle me surprised. I think we'll buy the, the champion belt, even though that will produce more champions, but we are on easy mode. Or we're on normal mode, so. More champions basically puts us on hard mode, which is the way we already know how to play. In theory, in principle, in practice, no. Please do something that means I can hit you. Yeah, that, that's not stop. I have one of those. It's not quite as long, but it does the job. Very nice. A few dark bum. So we'll go back to 
this room. We will chase this item. I'm gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy this key. <laughs> not enough money. I am also going to. Ah! I keep deciding to backtrack, which is a terrible idea because um, it's wasting a lot of time, and we need to get to boss rush. But as Azazel, we can skip a lot of annoyances like um, obstacles and. and... Boom, thank you. Uh, you know, we we have a lot of damage as a Zazel, so we don't need to worry too much about how long a room is going to take us. I will sneeze though, if that's all right. <coughs> With you. <coughs> Struth. Okay. And where were we? Oh, there's another one. <coughs> Step. I hate it. <laughs> four sneezes. No one does four. The limit is three in the Geneva Convention. No one is allowed more than three. Tears up. Uh, it's helpful. It's a speed upgrade in terms of fighting rooms. Which will get us a little bit faster through the floors, which means we'll get to boss rest that a little bit more confidently. Don't really think that actually does any good for us. Let's try this before we go. And at 10 minutes going down to the caves... To Ooh, yes, that's what we like to see. And... Nope. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So, we did go down to half a heart. Unfortunately, we could not also take Death's Touch. Um, I think that paying three spirit hearts for contract from below has already paid for itself. Um, whereas Death's Touch, we've kind of somewhat made up for simply by having um, oh, that didn't work. Uh, the champion belt, which we you know, paid for with our hard-earned money. Hard-found money. Um, there are other opportunities to get damage upgrades too, but there are not other opportunities to get so many consumables as we've managed. Now, I'm going to do this Fool card, I hear you ask well. Traditionally, the Fool card is used for getting out of boss rush and not doing it. Um, we want to do boss rush and then get out of it. So what I'm going to try and do is make a beeline for the actual boss on that floor, do boss rush, and then leave and finish the floor and get more points. Uh, as noted, unless that actually makes us stupendously powerful, push is not really an option for us today anyway. Devil? Devil. Krampus is okay, except for the fact we have to get really, really close. But I think that seems to be working out for us. Yep. Uh, and I do want a lump of coal. A range upgrade would go down really well. The HP up is not a big deal. It does mean we can play this Blood Bank, which I, I think we probably should. You know, I was kind of hoping for a few more keys out of all of this. Why is this happening to my tears? I mean, my, my laser. Why is my laser like this? I'm happy with it, but it's, I mean, it is glorious. It's spectacular. It is the very nature of darkness itself. I'm just not sure why suddenly it is happening uh, when we pick up Lump of Coal like this. But that's that. We don't really want the Hangman card. We do want the bombs. Dart them wants this while I go over here and yeah, take the full card. And you're going to give me... Fine. How did you not pay out? I gave you a full red heart and you had just picked something up. That means you should be paying out. You joker. We should probably be using uh, our item a little bit more, mostly because we keep getting battery charges in duplicate, so why not make use of them? This is probably a secret room then. It's often asked of how you know that it's a secret room, and honestly, you watch a lot of people play the game, and you get used to recognising the sorts of places where secret rooms could be. Now, a lot of the time, a lot of the time, um, you will find that the secret room is in a place where often there would already be a door. So if there's a room that you've seen before that has had an exit and now there's no exit there, provided that the other sides of the map allow for it, then there could be a secret room. Obviously, all sides of the secret room have to have an exit. Oh, look upgrades nicer. I like that. Be careful. There's no need to take silly damage now that you, just because you can, you know? Um, secret rooms usually have three uh, exits, and sometimes they have four, very rarely they have two, and that's usually on smaller floors. Yeah, let's do the 
It's going to be excellent on boss rush. I'm just going to leave. I took damage anyway, but I'm going to leave. And in the shop, we win. I don't really think this is that great of a shop, so I will put a bomb down here. See if we get five more cents and see what else we can buy. I'm just going to take the red candle straight up. This could be one of the things that helps us with uh, the hush. So it's a possibility that we want to keep this and then try and do the hush fight. So see the secret room that we have has to be exits. The super secret room is usually guesswork. But do bear in mind that it has to have only one exit. And it's often close to the boss, but not necessarily. Also, if you have mapping that tells you where the secret room is, that is usually the most reliable way of finding it. I find. Um, but, again, don't quote me on that. You might have a more reliable way. We could have um, re-rolled that shop more often. I, guarantee, I, I concede that that is a possibility. However, I elected not to. The reason I elected not to is that keeping our bombs and money is good for points, which I'm still harping on about, but uh, point stands. And, yeah, point stands. Pun intended. And... Um, let's see if I can get out of here. Can't. Um, I don't want to waste the time on it. <laughs> you know, we could have re-rolled forever. And probably not come off too much better, because all we would have done is sort of try to settle on an item, knowing me. We have a red candle, we should use it. More? Ah, red candle's actually going to be really good against these. Well, uh, I guess we've got the brimstone. The red candle has a large benefit that it has range, which we do not. Let's put this over here and then stand on top of it. Only one, and it was not the type I expected, i.e. it wasn't the uh, type that produces spiders, the skeletal type. Watch out. The card. The card is death. The death card is not that useful. It could speed up a room ever so slightly, but then we'd have to go back for the full card, which we do want because we're going to try and use it to finagle our way back into the floor when we've beaten Boss Rush, which is actually the next floor, so we do need to get a bit of a press on, but I still want to take everything for no real reason. Die. Good. I guess what you want to do here is just do the big rooms quickly. Often, but not exclusively, I find that the big rooms are the way to the boss anyway. Oh, this room. Can... These enemies that are gated by time are just silly. Although our rate of fire is pretty good, so we... Oh, that's a perfect place to start. Uh, spawn. The, our rate of fire is good enough that we can actually get through them. Like two of them when they spawn, even though they spawn quite far apart. Thank you for all the things that are coming out of these chests, by the way. And we will move on to what turns out to be a very useful room. So this will be not a very good room. I'm going to not take that because I don't really care for it. Um, I keep picking up trinkets and then we have to do this little dance. Let's take this. Uh, let's do this again. I'm wondering... First of all, I'm wondering, this is a great idea. We go. Now we've got those trinkets inside us. Uh, whether that re-rolls that. No, it doesn't. We could re-roll that, but mostly I don't really care for it. And it costs us points to take it, so we should not. Not that I think that our position in this run is going to be that advantageous, but I don't think we're at a... I don't think we're a strong contender to win this daily in a, well, at least we're going to win it but I don't think we're a strong contender to come in a decent position which is what I'm trying to say uh, and what's your favourite position to come in <laughs> it's so funny I'm glad you're the one recording these videos and not me I hear you cry nope thank you spider mod for freezing that in place so I didn't have to deal with it there's an HP upgrade which allows us to play blood banks and stuff like that but we're going to try and beeline to the boss if we can find the damn thing Curse of the Blind does not help. Uh, use the full card to get out again and finish the floor that way. So hopefully it's this way. Having a nice rate of fire is actually really helpful here because it means every time we do this strafing maneuver, we can start another one pretty quickly without worrying that we didn't quite do enough damage to everything. I'm going to ignore the hearts on the ground. I'm going to ignore everything until we... Wow, I brim snapped by accident. 
Honestly, I think using our red candle at this stage is less beneficial than simply not using it. Um, which I may change my mind about in the future, but it's really for boss rush and possible hush opportunity at this stage. Our question mark is Gimpy, which is great. I'm not going to try turning these full cards, picking up these cards, see what they are, because we have a full card, which is exactly what we want. We are boss rushing to boss rush. Honestly, if we find the boss quickly enough, we have more than enough DPS to get it done. And this feels like the right way, yeah. That's a key for the key gods, which we all know is the right way. So here's our mom fight. We have made it. We don't need to be too worried about how long this is going to take us, because we are a Zazel. We have good damage uh, and a good rate of fire to boot. Which means we should be able to get through this in more than enough time. I did get hit there by a very annoying enemy. Yeah, we're going to the negative. We got the negative, so we are actually... That is the uh, negative on the thingy. And we will take this one, because it's nearby. Kamikaze. Fucking amazing. So here is where we... Ooh, hello. Have to beat Boss Rush without taking too much damage. And then we get to leave. Go back into the floor and pick up all the stuff we forgot that we didn't get the opportunity to pick up because we were running. Uh, but so here's what we want this for. Um, please though. I didn't mean to fire that that way. Um, just please no Degas runes because if you find a Degas rune and it turns out to be a Degas rune then we would have been able to come into boss rush with one more HP and um, where are you? There you are. What? Is that your special trick? Not even doing brimstone? Bullshit. Get out of here. Good. Um, it meant we would have known what the items were on the boss rush here, so... It would have been a crying shame to have had the opportunity to know that and yet not actually been able to. It wasn't necessarily in our control, it's not like any runes dropped, but if we'd explored in a different direction, we would have had the time to maybe do something about that. I do like this version of... Ah! This enemy that charges us and I forgot. Good. Um, Carrion Queen, because it doesn't leave poops everywhere. I do not like this version of the haunt, though, because I didn't even know it was going to do that, and then it did that. That was a good run by. Look, Dark Bun's going around collecting all these HPs, so... What, though? Gimpy's giving his HP back, Dark Bum's giving his HP back, but I'm still taking a ludicrous amount of damage right now. Okay, you can have this. Just get your, uh, get your fire between you and the enemy. If it's gonna charge you, I suppose. Yeah, walk into it on your own, so that I don't have to deal with that shit. That is also fine. Ow, splody baddies. Deal with this, um, angel. Before you turn Fistula into a million pieces, which you can't deal with. And then turn Fistula into all those pieces using fire, which is humanity's friend since time immemorial. What though? This is one of those runs where I just haven't got the attention span to think ahead about what an enemy is going to do to me if it gets close to me. So I'm just sort of going through it and trying to react to everything rather than positioning correctly, which is, yeah, bad. Also, I hate that enemy. Also, Brownie Blue's like. Good. If we had something that made Kamikaze worthwhile, I would be super happy. But alas, it is not the case. That was good. And then this Joker, which I didn't even see until he was literally already on top of me. I get rid of Pete. If we stand on these fires, then things that jump will land on them with us. I think uh, Monstro just jumped through a fire, even though he was over the fire and died as a result. Happy with that. Okay, I'm misjudging where the enemies are spawning, apparently. Too high. Thank you, Darkbone, for just skirting around the room constantly, picking up everything, turning it into usable HP. This is an opportunity for that. Careful. Still haven't killed... Man, this Loki. There we go. So Gimpy and Dark Bum is basically a recipe for success. There's no way you can lose. You have to take damage faster than Gimpy drops three half-spirit hearts. So you have to take 
you know, one one hit every four enemies or something. Because Gimpy drops a lot of spirit hearts. Why are you charging me like this? Why can't you hit that with your beams rather than making me deal with it? You see, we could all get along if we just work together. If you attack... Yeah, what? No! Bloke. Mind the bloke. What is this? Oh, death is here. Very well. This is an awkward wave because both of these enemies can hit us from a long way away. Unless we just kill one of them really, really fast. Great prejudice. Come on then. Come and have a go if you think... That was a great shot, by the way. I was trying to say, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And then he hit me really hard. And I was somewhat put in my place. I mean, we can fly. We should be using the terrain to our advantage. But this is not happening. Come this way. Very good. And now you come this way. No. Now. Great, great, good. Dark Bum is still playing out. Where did this spider come from? I know not. And a question mark turns out to be Mom's Wig. Mom's Wig's okay, especially when you've got an item that is uh, a, a tear effect that is charged up. So now we go back, which was the original plan. Um, I did take an Eternal Heart, and I forget why. You gave me a spider. Um, but I'm going to waste it so that we can get this... Oh, heck. Uh, this boss trap room. And get some more points. It's doubtful that we'll even make it to Hush. Please, wear off. Thank you. I mean, I could play that more for more points. I don't really care. I want to be in here. Not wasting all my life. <laughs> Waiting for a fairly long, long lasted invincibility to wear off. I was not punished somehow for that dodge, which basically went straight into the shop. So if Loki would just like to teleport to my fire happy. Happy to oblige in that respect. Okay, we got some points for that. We're going to explore more. I don't, still don't want to do Hush. Uh, the fire is not good enough. Candle is not good enough. I was out of the way of that. Referee! Come on, ref. What, though? And we should go to the shop to see if we can get an advantage on the next floor. But mostly, I don't care. HP upgrade. Again, we're not really in a position where our HP is a problem. Um, having it. Where having HP is a problem. Which can happen if you've got like, the Horror Babylon or something. Sure, two bombs, whatever. Um, but we don't. So, I'm happy to take it. And we can still sell it on a deal with the devil in the future. Because there are a couple available to us. This turns out to be the strength card. Which can cheese a deal with the devil. But we don't need to. Okay. Great. <laughs> Bears options does apply to one boss from now on, so... It's not a terrible thing, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. We'll do this. Not worried that we can't reach the Hush fight, because it gives me an excuse to not do it, rather than just making me have to wuss out on not doing it. Jen has just unlocked Samson in her own runs, which is cool. Um, she doesn't have quite as many hours as you and I. I keep saying you and I, and obviously the channel is called you and I, and I don't say it on purpose, but it feels like I'm branding. I'm not. I'm just talking. This It's why it's called that, you know? You and I are going to play this together, viewers. It's now why it's called. It's sort of, um, it's retroactively been fitted to me now. Yeah. Fine. Good to that. We can take this because we have uh, absorbed our three shops trinket, and of course there are no more shops. Suddenly I feel like I've remembered how to play the game, because I'm not taking damage all the freaking time. It's always Loki. At least once in here. And as mentioned, we now have two deals with the devil that we can spend these three HP on. That was very close. That was even closer in the sense that... Actually, that hit me. I mean, uh, technically you can never touch anything because the uh, gap between atoms always exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first of all, that is 
a hitbox. It's digital, it's virtual, it doesn't really mean anything. It is a mathematical construct, uh, probably a simple rectangle intersecting another rectangle, at which point uh, a sequence of logical instructions tell the computer to go, uh, and um, you know, reduce your health by one. Secondly, what sort of primary school bullshit is that? That is what happens when people watch pop science. Prof Brian Cox tells them about shit. You know, that atoms are minuscule and most of it is empty space. Literally all of atoms are empty space. You know, atoms are just fluctuations in the quantum field that represents m matter itself, in, in the Higgs field, in the electronic field, in all of them. You know, all of matter is empty space. They are waves. They they are accidental manifestations of mathematical principles. You can't... What was this one? Strength. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Blow up the Wheel of Fortune and move on. You know, it really bothers me when people try and say you can't really touch anything. Uh, you, you can't really anything anything. Nothing really exists by that logic. Atoms are not just tiny. They are made of tiny. There's nothing there. And of course, the only real definition of A touching B is that the electromagnetic fields repel at the close range. It's the weak nuclear force, don't quote me on that, which causes atoms, if they get too close together, to repel one another, which we call touching. So, yes, you can't technically touch anything because you don't technically exist by the same technicality, which is standard bullshit because obviously empirically you can touch something because all you need in order to touch something is the ability to sense that you have touched something and the ability to measure that you've touched something to all intents and purposes if one thing stops another thing then they have touched two, two of diamonds gets us to 99 cents which is tremendous because we're not going to be spending any of it and we may get money equals power in the future which would be nice where did that come from oh we got the uh, the trinket i like that trinket so a super secret room is I don't know, so we're going to leave. Mama Gurdy is going to be roasted by fire right now. She can't do anything to us except shoot us because these fires have no effect on me. You're weak human fires. I don't even know if Mama Gurdy is even slightly human, but this means nothing to me, oh Vienna. Yes, please. What I'll do is I'll... Well, I don't need that. <laughs> I took it because it was there. I'm going to take this and this. And then, hopefully, on the next deal with the devil, which is the last deal with the devil, um, we get something that will be beneficial if we have zero HP. I went to the curse room because I don't know what's good for me. Uh, we got mom's knife, so we should do hush, but we can't. <laughs> That's quite ironic, actually. Um, mom's knife is probably the item that I will be looking for to allow me to do hush. Uh, and we got it. Okie dokie. So it feels like I'm walking on sunshine. It's basically just um, the... The unicorn stump. Temporarily. Very temporary. It's a lot of damage. Sure. Pheromones does not be Yera. Yera moans. Um, your mama moans. Hormones? Um, that wasn't called your mama a whore, by the way, if that wasn't clear. Um, I forgot the same. Yeah, we can now do hush, but we can't get there. And I don't think that there is a way to choose a hush fight at all. If you don't get there in time, you can't have it. Simple as that. This is one of those runs where I'm not really paying attention to the whole room. So, oh, I don't pick these up. Uh, yeah, do pick these up because there's look upgrades and there are coins with keys in it for you. So, why is my damage going up? Oh yeah, I got uh, Lusty Blood, of course, which probably helps out a lot on boss rush, and I forgot. So our damage is going up as we kill enemies. Unfortunately, Mom's Knife is one of those such high damage items that, you know, being able to kill enemies slightly faster is meaningless within the context of a single room, except for when that single room has a single enemy on it, uh, which is very powerful, in which case Lusty Blood does us no good because it isn't going to be... Uh, improving us because there are enough enemies on the room to do so. Which is a very complex way of saying, unless there is exactly... Uh, okay. I thought I had hit that thing. It's a very complex way of saying if there's only one enemy on the room, Lusty Blood does nothing. If there are many enemies on the room, 
Did they... Lusty Blood doesn't help. Because they're weak enemies. So the only time Lusty Blood will help is if there's a lot of strong enemies on the room, which was basically boss rush. Uh, so it's nice to have Mom's Knife. And we do get one more deal with the devil. I don't know what that does. We might as well take it. Uh, tonsil. Maybe it... It presumably causes um, poison damage in some respect. I hate the way this thing produces enemies right on top of me. I don't know if I should be expecting it to. Yep, good. Yep, fine. But I, I don't expect it to. It lives, does not live long. You. Dodge around these, dies anyway. Dodge around these, dies anyway. And then we try and land it. Perfect. Excuse me, I said perfect. And then the fucker shot me because I was thinking about it. Sell my deal on... I'll take this. I don't think we need the other one. And then... Do you know what? I was going to go and sleep in that bed and get three spirit hearts, but we only need one spirit heart left anyway, so what? Who cares? It doesn't make any difference. We are in shoal. We are going to beat the lamb after all of this. Nice. Good positioning on that fire there. Uh, and plenty of spirit hearts from these jokers anyway, so we didn't need to waste the time sleeping in the bed. Which I'm glad we didn't. Yep, so I'm glad we didn't do Hush. We probably would have died. Even with Mom's knife, to be honest, um, Hush is a difficult fight. Because of the bullet helliness of it, right? Oh, there's no Loki in this one. Dark Bum, you are not needed to... What? Uh, to do your job right now. Worth a try. I think it's worth exploring this room, uh, this floor, because this floor... There's nothing on the other side of it that's gated by um, the time and points being prizes. Honestly, it could be one of those runs where the own the, the, there's a separation of people who did hush and survived who are going to be right at the top, and then people who didn't do hush who are going to be under them, and then people who did hush and died who will be below them. So I'm hoping to be in that middle camp there where I'm not completely uh, I'm not arrogant enough to suggest that I could beat Hush and win. There we go. Um, I'm modest enough to not try and beat Hush in this situation, basically. Which is, you know, you can't really say you're modest without sounding immodest, but I'm going for the modesty points. Dot them, you will not have the time to do this. Take these. Right, let's go. Mega Fatty, what the fuck? I didn't even notice myself walking into Mega Fatty, and yet it happened. The timing on this has changed so much. Because bombs now explode a lot faster than they used to in Rebirth. Which makes it super difficult to know, ooh, that was bad. To know when to uh, put that bomb down. I always think I'm waiting too long. And then along comes a spider. No, then I, I do it anyway, and we'll fail. That, that one time, I luckily placed it late enough, but I thought I was waiting too long. I guess we explore a bit. What are we expecting to find? I don't know. A portal to the netherworld. Look, I just want to find stuff. Plenty of void portals, plenty of red HP, plenty of things to shoot and kill. An ankh more pork. Let's try a secret room. No. Let's try a secret room here and here. I tried to place a bomb, but the cooldown on doing so was active. Uh, whatever. Dark Bum could go around collecting all those. We could waste time waiting. We do not need Dark Bum's help right now. Probably just take this key. I'm not sure that it makes too much of a difference. We will be on the dark room, so keys will be slightly useful, but not that fucking useful. Jeez Louise. Not there. Okie dokie. I think I'll do this room and then not bother backtracking to that room unless we... Oh, okay. Unless we find that this is the secret room. Which is not because there's a boss fight next to it. So what are you even doing? Yeah, we will go on to end this run. Uh, oh, it's probably here. Could be worth it. Uh, yeah, it's probably worth it. Speed upgrade doesn't hurt. And the HP is not going to really do us any unfavors because the the negative effect uh, it's not that way the negative effect is not that useful unlike the polaroid effect which is the invincibility when you're down at uh half a heart or less so i don't really care about having the negative effect when we get hit so 
not gonna not take HP just based on that. Uh, although that's our second Guppy item. We could convert it if we really cared to, but... You know what? If we find ourselves in times of trouble, uh, Mother Mary calling me, then we will... That was... I don't know what killed that. I think a spider killed that, which is why I wasn't quite expecting it to be dead at that point. Um, if we find ourselves so low in spirit hearts and Dark Bum not paying out uh, that things become a problem, then we've got a Satanic Bible to back us up, so never mind what I said. I do have this Yarrow Rune. I should be Yarrowing next time we get a double chest drop. I didn't want to Yarrow the full red chest, although I should have because there was a guppy item in it. Um, because red chests are not necessarily the greatest payouts. Had we gone to the chest, of course, you would Yarrow the four chests. Uh, and try and get eight items, but it didn't. Pretty nice. I'm going to Yarrow that. Uh, secret room? Nope. So next time you get a, just a double chest payout. That! I hate those enemies. <laughs> I really do. We found the boss. I'm going to explore more. I want my Yarrow payout. I feel silly for not having used it already. Honestly, I feel a little bit silly for not having used it on the red chests, even though that was correct not to use it on red chests, because red chests aren't that valuable, but I should just take some of these. Deck of cards gives us temperance, temperance gets exploded, gives another item. No, not down here, okay. Headless baby is fine, satanic bible is fine. I think we do the boss and then uh, come back. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not too salty about the lack of Guppy there, even though the Yara play would have given it to us, because Guppy with Mom's knife is not that great. It's, excuse me, Guppy with uh, Brimstone is pretty good, but then we'd have the low-range Brimstone that we're used to from Azazel anyway, so again, we'll be close to these enemies and taking a lot of damage, which we already are, but that's because I'm bad with Mom's knife, not because I'm playing as Azazel. I mean, Dark Bone is helping some, somewhat right now. Yep. Just explode on... Yeah, kill your friend. See, that's what I like when these wars work together. See, one war against another, you can play them off each other. Wow. Why not? I still don't know what this tonsil is doing. I feel like our... Uh, our... our Flat Penny is not really doing any good for us either. Do you get points when Dark Bun pays out the Spirit Heart even if you don't take it? Perhaps. 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 Probably sad that we couldn't get Sackhead at the start of all of this. It may have sped us up to some extent because it may have allowed us to take some uh, some cards that would have helped. Or, ooh, that didn't do what I wanted to. You know, a te an extra teleport card to get us prevent us from backtracking or something. It may have given us a Sorry, the sound is extremely out of sync just now, which is quite disconcerting. I don't know what the sack head could have given us. Maybe more money to make us want to play the shop a little bit longer. Something like that. Hello. Stop that. Where are you? There you are. Dodging these sides from death is just not part of my repertoire. I'm sorry. If you want that, you're going to have to pay a professional. Did we not get a drop? I thought I heard a chest drop. Well, we are just finishing off this floor for 100% complete this, you know, bonus, which is this room, and it's done. I think Bloody Lust would be better than Lusty Blood for us on this run, because I'm bad. Uh, also, the Mom's Knife thing kind of makes Lusty Blood somewhat less effective, but we are done here. There's no way of doing anything else. We came 2,000th, so... That was the hush fight. Another 1,600 points we could have been anyway, you know? That's uh, six, 1,600 points. Like, where would that be? Up there somewhere? I'm not even going to wait for that to load. Friends, only I played it. That's fine. Global. Actually, some of those... There's only one score that looks like it's been hacked in. Well, thank you for watching this episode. That is three of five. Three of five? I think that's three of five in a row. So two more, and we can finally stop doing these GD dailies. Except we have to do... A daily every day for 31 days in a row just to unlock some stupid thing that no one cares about but thank you for watching on this one hope you will join me for the next one for those 31 dailies i'm probably just going to join it and leave again but anyway i 
hope to see you in the next episode. Good day.